Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. We have a stunning long jeans for you here. This is called the Flyback, and it's part of their Spirit Ranger watches. Now, I've reviewed a few of the Spirit Range, and I have to say they are absolutely superb. Really good looking watches, as too is this one here. I think it just looks superb. It, unfortunately, it's one of these watches where you have to be outside to really appreciate just how good that dial with its sunburst effect looks. I think it is absolutely stunning. You know, especially with this blue and the kind of matching blue ceramic uh, bezel. I think that really does make it a bit of a standout piece. It just looks so good on the wrist. It kind of a real eye catcher because against this blue, you have this really, you know, these polished effects, which just look superb. But before I talk too much about this watch, let me say a big thank you to Ryan and the team over at Francis and Gay of Coventry for allowing me to review this watch. They've got so, so many brands in stock. And in fact, they've just picked up another brand, which I'm going to be reviewing soon, which I'm quite excited to actually. Um, you know, if you're anywhere near, well worth popping in. If you're a bit further afield, check out their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. So sizes, we're talking a 42 millimeter case size. I know a lot of you are going to complain now, but 17 millimeters thick and look to look is 49 millimeters and the strap width is 22. So anyway, let's have a look at that dial because let's face it, the dial just looks absolutely amazing on this watch, I think. The sunburst effect of that dial just looks superb. And I love the way, you know, it contrasts with these polished sections here, down to the stars, the hour markers, even the rings around the subdials there. It just looks superb. And this big outer ring here. But yet you have these raised sections with the numbers on there for the hours. And again, it just gives it a bit more depth. And then you have this um, circular rings around the sub, you know, within the subdials, give it a little bit of different texture. But also the hands, they just look, see how they catch the light. I think they look superb. Now, what's also good with this is the hands and hour markers and these small diamonds cut out here and the bezel are fully loomed. So it gives, a the loom on this is really, really, it looks really good. Um, Obviously, as it is a chrono, you can tell by your subdials here. This is your time constant running, and this is your minute track um, for the chrono. So if I start the chrono, let's have a listen to it. Very nice, solid, and as you can see, you've got the chrono hand going around there. And it is actually um, loomed at the top. And you see how you've got this kind of raised section here with the minute track going around there. I just think the dial looks interesting there's a lot going on on there but it's kind of done in such a way that you, you catch something different every time but it's not too busy if that makes sense i just think the dial looks superb let's have a reset resets nicely now as the name would suggest this has got a flyback feature now if you're not sure what that is i'll quickly explain to you a normal chronograph we've just started it so now we'll stop it we stop, reset, and then you can start again. So if I start again, but let's say you're timing something and you messed up. You know, you, you went to time it, but actually, you know, it's going to start a couple of seconds later. Now, obviously, you've got to go stop, reset, start, but not on a flyback. So if I press now the stop button, but if I keep my, not stop, the reset button, but if I keep my finger down on it, and then release, there you go, it starts straight away. So again, just press, boom, release, and it starts uh, immediately. I think that is a real cool function. Now it's one of these, you might say, do you really need it? Quite possibly not, but do you really need an automatic wristwatch anyway? Possibly not, but it doesn't matter. It's just a cool feature. And it's a feature which takes more engineering to do. So the movement is that bit more complicated, which is rather nice. So anyway, as we come past this, look at that big domed um, sapphire there. I think it looks absolutely cool. It really is a kind of, a, you know, just the way it uh, blends nicely into the actual uh, bezel there. It just looks like a puddle of water. 
it looks so good. Now it has AR coating and the bezel itself, let's hear the reaction here. It's quite light to be fair and it is bi-directional so you can turn it either way. Now line it up, obviously it lines up perfectly. We do have a ceramic insert in here. Now as I've stated before that is also loomed. You have a coin edge style um, out of air which makes it easy to grasp. Now coming past that we have this kind of satinized uh, brushed finished there. I think it's the way they do it here is so good. They have this brush finished, um, you have a radial brush finish in there, and then you get this really nice chamfer going on there. It is incredibly well done. In fact, I would say it's you know it's so well done, it's actually almost a little bit sharp. You know, it's the the work they do here, it's so you know, kind of sharp. They don't remove almost any edges, and it is a tiny bit sharp if I was gonna be possibly a little bit critical of it but no it, it just it feels and looks great as we come around to this side as you can see we've got our pushers we have our signed crown there which is a screw down crown and there you go that unscrews now this watch does have water resistancy but 100 meters which let's face it for a watch like this is no problem and we screw that back in and there you go now as we come past that Let's have a look at the back, he says. Just look at that. Doesn't that look good? That movement there is what they call the caliber L791. Now it is based on a ETA movement originally, but this is a 28 joule, 68 hour, um, hour movement. And most importantly, it has a column wheel, as we can see there. Now, what that column wheel does, it enables a kind of constant feel to the pushers. Instead of a cam system where one side of a cam can be a little bit lighter or heavier than the other, this should always feel very similar, if not the same. Um, and it's, to be fair, it's just a lovely movement. I did put it on the time graph and I think it was pulling in it pulling in a constant plus four seconds so still puts it within a chronometer spec movement so it is quite nice also what was nice it was a dead even plus four which is very nice sometimes they can fluctuate up and down a little bit but this was a very solid now as we come past this we have a sailcloth style um, strap on this now you can actually get this also you can get it also in a stainless steel um, bracelet. You can also get the watch with a black dial as well. Now but one really cool feature of this watch is the clasp. Now one special feature we have here is this. If I press this button here you'll see this enables this to move back and forth and that allows you to have micro adjustment and this is very cool. So if I push it right out there we put a strap back in he says, let's see, put it in um, that way. Is that right way? Oh, sorry, wrong way. So if we put it in there. Now, if I push that in, you see how it can actually move. You have micro adjustment on the clasp. That actually is very cool. Let me put this on my wrist so you can see how it looks. Quick zoom out. Um, what you're wearing, Bob? Bob has got the new Oris with a calibre 400 movement. Very nice. Um, I'm wearing my old Seiko MM200 for great blue hole, which I think is the best MM200 Seiko have, has ever made. Quick, put this on my wrist. My wrist size is seven and a quarter inches. Let me just tighten that up. So what I can do, he says, is just press that and then move it in. And there you go. So now it should be a little bit tight on my seven and a quarter inch wrist and that's it. And I think it looks stunning. Just simply a gorgeous watch. Um, I should also point out the movement has a silicon hairspring, which means it is incredibly, it should be really anti-magnetic. And it also comes with a five year warranty, which is just a plus for any watch brand. So anyway, guys, I hope you like the review. Um, any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. All the best and most importantly, stay safe out there. Bye.